Oh, this next one is a big one. Oh, and I feel like we should have learned. We should have learned. I mean, that's an observation. I also have 10 fingers. So today I want to talk to you guys about some things that people get congratulated for that they just don't freaking deserve being congratulated for. Am I better? Yeah, probably a little bit. I mean, no, to be fair, some of the things I found myself being congratulated for, and I'm like, I don't deserve congratulate. There are things that you do in life that you work really hard for to attain, and nobody ever says congratulations, you know? And then there are things that just happen, and you get congratulations, and you're like, why? So today's gonna be a bit of a rant, but those are always fun, right? Like, I enjoy a good rant. Sometimes you need to rant to just get it out of your system. Before I get into the video, do be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. This is a channel that I've worked for. You could do all those things things that are free or you could join the patreon or the channel membership and get extra videos every single week and other rewards like talking to editor diane or having a hangout okay the first thing and this gets on my goat as a night owl i'm a night person and i tend to try and stay on my viewers time and most of my viewers are in america so i don't stay up all night but i'll usually stay up until like at least two in the morning people who are congratulated for getting up early just because you got up early you also went to bed early. I stayed up late. Congratulate me for staying up late. There are these celebrities who make like a whole personality out of it. They're like, I get up at four in the morning and I start working out. The Rock gets up at like 5 a.m. Four o'clock in the morning, I wake up. 4.30, 4.45, I'm doing some sort of cardio. One of the Chris's, I don't know, they're all Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Chris Klein, Chris Pratt. There's so many Chris's. Anyway, one of them gets up at like five in the morning and he starts training. I'm like, great, you probably go to bed at 8 p.m. There's nothing wrong with that, but honestly, like, why is that like a congratulatory thing? Like, you're great, you got up in the morning, big whoop. I also got up, but like at 10, but I went to bed late. So we both have the same amount of hours in our day, and, and, and yet the early bird gets the congratulations. I've tried getting up early in the morning. Honestly, freaking nothing happens in the morning. Nothing happens in the morning. I guess it's a good time to go do stuff like go to the supermarket because nobody's there, but also like it's boring. I like being out and about later. That's just me though. Let me know if you feel differently in comments. The second thing, and I have noticed this more so as an adult woman than I ever noticed before. If you are going out with somebody who happens to be like rich or happens to have a great job or something, people go, oh, well done, well done. I didn't do anything, he did, like good for him. He worked really hard or maybe he's a drug dealer. I'm not dating a drug dealer, don't worry. Now everybody thinks I'm dating a drug dealer. But like people will actually go, oh my God, well done you. What did I do? I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. He's great. He, uh, hypothetical man is doing well for himself. It's not like some big accomplishment. I know there are certain people who go after somebody for their status in society or their money or whatever. And I guess in that case, maybe that would deserve congratulations. You've worked your whole life to be with somebody wealthy, but like, I really don't feel it deserves a congratulate. Like, why don't you go, well done, your partner's really funny. Like, why, why is that not a thing? People would get that if they dated me. Like, congratulate him for getting me. I am full of quirks and I have a very good skincare routine. Congratulations, you got Diane. Another thing people congratulate you for is like designer labels and overspending. Like, they'll be like, Wow, she's so great. She has like Louis Vuitton or she has Prada or I don't know any really cool designer labels. I have like a couple of things in my closet that happen to be designer labels, but generally they were on sale. Like the thing about things that are designer labels, they're not better quality and you definitely don't deserve congratulations for having them. I don't feel like somebody having designer things deserves congratulations, you know? It's not a kudos thing. It's like, wow, you happen to have more money than somebody else or actually, no, if you did get it on sale, that deserves a congratulation. Like, congratulations, you got that scarf for 10 euro where it retailed for like 250. That deserves congratulations in my opinion. The next thing is weight loss. Okay, now I am in two minds for this one because, you know, I am a fluctuator and my weight fluctuates. Not massively, like I've never been hugely overweight or underweight, but I have fluctuated. I would say 
In my adult life, between eight and a half and 11 stone. I've fluctuated between those weights. Mostly, 90% of the time I'm in the middle, but I've gone up and down. But when you lose a little bit of weight, like say I was 11 stone and I get down to 10 stone, people are like, congratulations. Like, I find that a little insulting. Like, you felt like I didn't deserve your congratulations before. All I'm doing now is not eating ice cream for breakfast. And you think I'm joking. I genuinely do sometimes eat ice cream for breakfast. And sometimes crisps. Sue me. Disclaimer here for easily offended stupid people. She's not saying everybody who gains weight eats ice cream and crisps for breakfast. She's saying she eats ice cream and crisps for breakfast. And that's how she gains weight. It's subjective. But that's how my weight loss will happen I'll be like I should probably get a grip and not do that I know it's not the same for everybody different people have different things I'm just talking about myself that's how my, my weight goes up and down I'll just get in a cycle of eating not good things and that's how I put on weight but I don't deserve congratulations if I lose the weight it also highlights to me the fact that you thought there was something wrong with me before when I had put on a little bit of weight I, ju I just don't like I just don't think okay if somebody loses like 10 stone like what would that be in american culture 14 pounds in a stone okay i'm just gonna say a number like say you lose 50 pounds like that is really hard you worked really hard that might deserve a well done you on your effort but also i don't know i just find it a little bit there's something off about it there's just something like are you so concerned would you congratulate me if i just started eating healthier and didn't lose any weight i just find it i don't know i just don't think it deserves a congratulations sometimes it does though the next thing and again i'm not saying these are not nice things sometimes they are but also like why a lot of times you will get complimented for a physical attribute like people are like oh you have i'm gonna say the most generic thing here you have beautiful eyes i didn't grow them i mean i did technically in womb uh, but maybe congratulate my parents because the, i didn't do that they just grew out of my head like that like i didn't do that i didn't achieve that that's just how they are i suppose they could be more bloodshot if you lived like a really unhealthy lifestyle and did like drugs and and, and drink a lot of stuff like when i'm hungover, my eyes are a bit more red but i don't know i don't feel like i deserve like wow oh, you have beautiful eyes i mean that's an observation i also have 10 fingers nine fingers eight fingers and two thumbs i didn't do anything they just they just came out that way oh another thing that gets my goat gets my goat bad do goats bad it's when people congratulate your partner if you've achieved something like say i i don't know i win something and then somebody goes up to your partner and it's like hey diane got a medal for being the greatest youtuber in the world congratulations he didn't do anything he didn't do that i did that i did that give me the congratulations congratulating people's partners like i know we support our partners but also like they didn't do jack shit like they <laughs> supported you emotionally but that doesn't i don't feel like that deserves a congratulations but that could just be me another thing that gets congratulations that does not deserve it does not deserve it hello it's never backing down in a fight. I really don't think that deserves congratulations. Honestly, a lot of times, I feel like if I back down in a fight, I deserve freaking congratulations because I am a hothead. I am hot-headed. And if I can get myself off that pier and talk myself down from aggression, then I deserve like, well done, Diane. You didn't unleash, you kept editor Diane on the inside. Good job. people get congratulations for is being sleep deprived like wow you only sleep like five hours a night four hours a night three hours and i'm concerned for you i don't think that should be you need seven to eight hours a night to function most people unless you're taking naps most people need seven to eight hours a night to function and if you are not getting the seven to eight hours and i'm concerned for you i really don't think that should be like wow anthony is brilliant he only sleeps like three hours a night that no it doesn't it doesn't deserve congratulations it deserves help for them to be able to have seven to eight hours sleep a night i am satan without seven to eight hours sleep a night <gasps> oh this next one is a big one. Oh, and i feel like we should have learned we should have learned lessons from this whole 
horrible trauma that we went through during the pandemic. It's doing anything, even though you're sick. If you are sick, preferably, please freaking stay home. Like, stay home. I don't want you, I, like, oh, I was feeling really sick, but I came out to dinner anyway. Freak off. Go home. I don't want your germs. Can we just applaud people for staying home? Don't come into work. If you can work from home, do that. Don't go in. Don't applaud people. Like, oh, Nigel worked through the flu to do this. Nigel needs hydration and drugs. Why are we applauding Nigel for coming in and being a super spreader? Why, why, why? And finally, a thing that really gets my goat that people give people praise for. Well, one gender of people, dads, men. Men get praise for just being dads. Moms don't get praise for being moms. Their entire compilation videos, that don't get me wrong, I watch them because they're fun. They're like dads doing super saves on YouTube. And it's like, you know, the dad catches the kid before they fall off the couch or before they get hit in the head by a deer. That was a specific one. But where are the mom hero compilation? Like, moms do so much stuff. I literally find my friends who have children, their dads get so much praise for just doing something with their child. And moms freaking never do. Like moms unfortunately in 2023 are still doing the majority of raising children not in all societies in sweden apparently it's quite a lot more 50 50. but dads just doing dad things shouldn't get more praise than moms doing mom things you know a mom will sacrifice as much as a dad and i do think good parents yes should be applauded but the men shouldn't get applauded more than the women just for doing the bare minimum like being around. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Some of them might be controversial. Let me know below in the comments. It's okay to agree to disagree, but if you can't have a civil conversation, then I just don't wanna know you. I don't wanna know you. Today, Chewie would like to show his appreciation to the Karmic Goals crew by showing you how much he enjoys his favorite treaty of the month that he gets after a visit to the vet. As you can see, he enjoyed it very much. Thank you to each and every one of you. You make it possible for me to do something I love for a living and Chewie gets to eat these delicious, if very smelly snacks. That's it for today. See you guys on the side. Bye. Hey, it's that season where we throw children off the balcony for screaming outside. Actually, to be honest, let's not throw the children. Let's throw the screaming adults off the balcony the children like who are like oh, my child's not entertained unless i'm screaming at them your child is fine your child is in a pool there's a swimming pool out there. they're having a great time you don't need to be like yay mark speaking of congratulations just let mark swim margaret